श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम विश्व पश्यति कार्यकारणतया स्वस्वामी संबंधता शिष्याचार्यतया तथा पितृपुत्राध्यात्मना वेदता भगवान शंकराचार्य टेल्स द वर्ल्ड इज क्रिएटेड व्हेन वी आर लॉस्ट इन द इल्यूजन ऑफ कॉज एंड इफेक्ट विश्व पश्यति कार्य कारणतया वन डे ए चाइल्ड आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन एल्डरली पीपल टेल अस दैट इफ यू डू रॉन्ग गॉड विल पनिश यू नाउ माय क्वेश्चन इज हाउ गॉड पनिशेस ही विल नॉट गिव अ चॉकलेट व्हाट इज दैट सो आई सेड हे युअर क्वेश्चन इज रियली जीनियस क्वेश्चन then i ask him have you any time eaten uh, dahi vada he was screamed yes i like dahi vada very good how the dahi vada is served they make a small katori out of leaves or newspaper or whatever and in that there is a pathetic thing called as the vada it is wet it is dilapidated and it is put over there swimming in a dirty water and then on that there is a topping of dahi and then all kinds of spices and if you want to eat real good dahi vada then go to bombay chaupati it will be finally top with the organic salt and thereafter they will give you one small spoon push into that and serve you he says swami ji i am asking you something you are telling me something i said no listen i am telling you in the same manner when god created man he has that small container our khopdi cranium and in that there is something called as brain it looks exactly like a dahi vada if you don't trust find out yourself and then on that dahi vada on the brain so many things are sprinkled lal mirch kali mirch hari mirch everything and in place of the spoon it is the intellect which is given and the man is released in the world and thereafter man discovers various ways how to become miserable 
you will see every simple people are not miserable see who are miserable intellectuals and why they are miserable because they have got these uh, two viruses in their head one virus is why and second virus is how so whole life is spent only whiling away by howling at the life see why 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 because the sky is too high vishvam pashyati karya karanataya maharaj we have done so much for bhagwan yet we are having miseries why you ask bhagwan see why this is so important for us to understand another example i'll tell you in uh, us san jose there was one child a maharashtrian child and you those of you who are from usa so you know the pathetic life that they have there see there is a competition among the parents if your son is going for tennis my daughter will go for bharatanatyam now this bharatanatyam is meant only for the tamilians because they know how to hit the floor what is bharatanatyam simple things made complicated is bharatanatyam he said be namaskar and they go on hitting the floor unnecessarily but they have the knack how to do it that is maharashtrians don't have dance in them they can only argue they can't dance and yet my daughter has to also learn because competition and the poor girl never in their genes there is there is no dance so she started going and started hitting the floor so badly that her heels got hurt and for 2 years she went to school in a wheelchair class 8 class 7 you can imagine so old people at home now that child is suffering old people will make her suffer more see and then see we have not done any bad to anybody why this is happening to our child oh constantly crying 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 now the father the father of that baby that girl he said one day now will you please all shut up you only told me go and listen to swami i heard him what he told see don't get lost in that this is the situation now think how we get out of it why this happened will make you more miserable vishvam pashyati karya karanataya do not allow cause and effect to overpower your understanding see the same thing happens on the spiritual path because there is no urgency suppose imagine my house is on fire i can put my house on any time on fire because i don't have house so when the house is on fire i lift the phone and call hello is it the fire brigade department yes how are you everything is okay i had no opportunity to call you any time but god has blessed me now the what do you want man no nothing uh, uh, do you have a little time for me what no my house is on fire if you don't mind please drop in we'll say that no we won't even tell where the house is because there is urgency on a spiritual path we have no urgency see and because of that we get lost in cause and effect cause and effect vishvam pashyati karya karanataya and what is the location of this cause and effect is the intellect see therefore if we want to um praise somebody how we praise do we say oh he is very fat 
No, we say he is very intelligent. Or if you are to condemn somebody, oh, he is dumb. That means he is not intelligent. See, our assessment of the people is on the basis of intelligence. And this intelligence is the cause of all the miseries. Because they are trained to think in a particular way, they don't come out of it. Their mind is not open. It is so much clouded with so much of data that they can't look at the world without biasness. See, when a boy goes to the medical college, before going to college, he looks upon the people as human beings. Once he goes to the college, thereafter his vision undergoes change. Then he starts looking upon the people as prospective patients. And after some time, then they become the source of income. There was a family, mother, father, doctor. They made the son also doctor. And uh, he also joined the practice. Why I am telling you all these stories? To make this point clear. And uh, the son said, Mom, Dad, you have worked very hard for so many years. You deserve a big vacation. Go to Europe. I'll take care. And the parents, oh, our son is so care, um, caring for us. With great uh, feeling, they went for one month. And after one month, they came back. Now the son says, Dad, you will be on, uh, very uh, surprised and you will be proud of me. Why? What happened? All those old patients which were hanging around for years together, I have cleared them all. And the doctor, father, who hit his head against the wall, are a dumb, who told you patients are to be maintained, not cured? See, friends, the day we go away, out of cause and effect, we will start functioning in the present. And when we live in the present, we do not become anybody extraordinary, but simply remain ordinary, whatever we are at a given period of time. We don't become. Like here, we have not become satsangi. We are in the satsanga, therefore we are satsangi. And it is easier. Therefore, becoming is adding something extra to us. Therefore, yesterday I told you, being is natural, becoming is artificial. See? That is what they call makeup. What is the makeup? That which is done to cover the breakup is a makeup. And then it doesn't last long. Therefore, let us remain as we are. Now, how to remain as we are? The first principle, we have to stop reacting to the world. One of the most important spiritual practices. We don't have to react to the world. Now, why we react? Because we take some position. Like yesterday I told. I take a position of a um, elderly person, the moment the child comes, I start telling, do this, don't this, don't do this, don't do this, because I am grown up. Don't take any position. Relax, relax. And when you are practicing this, one thing will happen, and that is, you will be at peace with yourself. A person who is at peace with himself or herself is at peace with the whole world. And whenever we are disturbed, we are disturbed as somebody. I am disturbed as a husband, as a wife, as a mother, as a mother-in-law. 
आई एम डिस्टर्ब द मोमेंट आई हैव बिकम समबडी भगवान रमण मर्सीज अप्रोच डोंट गेट लॉस्ट इन फाइंडिंग आउट द कॉज बिकॉज ऑफ होम आई एम मिजरेबल नो सी देन फाइंड आउट हु इज मिजरेबल नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ होम बट हु इज मिजरेबल देन वन डे इट विल क्लिक then the one who is miserable does not exist observe this phenomena to observe this try this thing become a husband or wife and think think as husband or think as wife think one experiment or second experiment think as parents or think as children over now think as mr nobody experiments over now analysis thoughts are born with a reference to something when you became husband or wife the thoughts are pertaining to wife or husband respectively when you became parent or children the thoughts were pertaining to children or parents respectively when you remain nobody no thoughts in vienna austria we were having a very deep um, sessions three days very sincere seekers and there was one elderly lady so when i said now become or take the position of mr nobody after that was over she said sami ji i object i said okay object no problem why do you say mr nobody why not miss nobody so much under that influence of gender thinking it should not come in our head what is we are learning something see suppose i give an example of uh, a miserable husband and a healthy wife immediately the wife will uh, come why you go call me like this are just an example so whenever we give any reference to the mind somebody is born and the somebody is being is reduced to becoming see there was there is one lady in mumbai middle age crisis you all know that when they reach 50s both husband and wife then they get bored of each other so they start fighting so this family <coughs> she came and told me swami ji i can't stay any more with him we are staying under the same roof but never talking nothing like that. i don't like him now i want to separate you please bless me i said look here i have never bless anybody nor i bless you for marriage so i have no authority to bless you for separation then you tell me what should i do i said i have got only one solution to all the problem think properly when you are wanting separation what exactly will happen you as a wife will you die he as a husband will he die 
you will continue to exist. So when you want to separate what you are doing, you are changing the problem. Now your problem is you are married, later the problem will be you are a divorcee. You are not change, uh, solving the problem. See, then what should I do? I say, think properly. Now what is there to think? I say, look here. Are you by birth wife? No, Swami, by birth I was a girl. Very good. Did you cease to be a girl after marriage? You continue to be a girl. So what is this wife? The girl has become wife. Because she reflected in the mirror of the man. And he became husband, you became wife. So if you remove the mirror, will the reflection go along with the mirror? No. What will happen? Nothing will happen. Because the reflection appears, doesn't exist. It is useful for us. In today's language, Husband, wife, brother, father, mother, whatever you become is a virtual reality. Virtual reality is useful for lifting the luggage from the shopping center. Useful. See? So use it and fool him and be happy. But then these personalities, I versus you, become so strong. Therefore, friends, being is our natural state. Becoming happens when we superimpose so many conditions on us. And slowly, those conditioned expressions become or take the position of the reality and the reality is hidden behind all these conditions. See? Therefore, we have to find out how do we remain as being and stop becoming anything. See? Because when I got married, I became a wife. When I divorced, I became a divorcee. Then again I got married, again I became a wife. The process of becoming is not stopping. Stop that process of becoming. How it can happen? Only by simple thinking and proper understanding. Now see, how the becoming is. Probably yesterday I gave you an example. Colors and forms are many. All the colors and forms are illuminated by the vision. Vision is one. Vision has no color. Vision has no form. If you are now 100 here, in place of 100, if you become 1000, will it be a burden to my vision? Oh God, I have to see 1000 people. Or, if you are only half a dozen, will it be lighter for me? And if you, all of you disappear, Will there be any loss to me? But what is happening? My focus on the objective world is so much that I become the seer. I become the hearer. And therefore, the fighting begins. In Delhi, in Birla Mandir, Every year, we have seven days satsang. And it is a very beautiful place. So, the great Birlas, they have sent me a message that you please come and uh, conduct satsang during this period because this was the period when Swami Akhandananji Maharaj used to conduct satsang. After his demise, that play, that uh, Slot is free and we don't want to give it to anybody, but we want to give it to you. Please come. I said, okay, I'll come. And it was going on regularly. Then uh, he asked some other Mahatma. I will not tell you the name. 
and contact him. So their manager contacted and the reply came. A printed reply. Uh, conditions. First, getting yes, 10 lakhs. Number two, there should be a minimum audience of 5,000. Three, there should be publicity throughout the city. So many holdings, so many publicity things. And when will come, there will be so many people and so many arrangements to be made. And that time, before going on the stage, so much money has to be given to the secretary. So the reply went, thank you very much, we'll think about it and let you know. So, aaye the hari bhajan ko, otan lage kapas. See, what for we are here? Are we here to collect the things and beings? But what we are doing is this only. Create possessions and create relations. And that burden of possessions and relations make being divided into becoming. The more the possessions and relations, the more we are fragmented. So the one man, he becomes so many. Mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, neighbor, uh, rich, poor, educated, over-educated, illiterate. So many things we have become. In addition, now I am spiritual. One more feather is added. Not peacock feather, cock feather. See, friend, don't become anybody. Be what you are. Now, how to be what you are? Only this much we have to remember. Wherever we are, wherever we are, whatever we are, be 100%. That's it. After this is over, forget. See? Thereafter, now you are driving the car. Now, become driver. They don't become a, um, you know, Pravachan car. No, that is only, that's it. So slowly we will learn this art of unbecoming. Although we have to become someone or the other when we are functioning in this world. In other words, do not mix issues in life. Do not add problems to yourself. And this can happen when we give up the specialities and come to the non-specific. Non -specific. Now come back to the example. Colors and forms are specific. Red is not yellow, yellow is not green, green is not blue, blue is not white, different. Then uh, tall is not short, short is not uh, um, round, round is not thin, thin is not different. All the differences are eliminated by the vision. So if we understand spiritual practice means not becoming extraordinary, remaining ordinary. So what will be the spiritual practice? Give yourself zero choice and accept the world as it is. In somebody's house, one young married couple, maybe for a year or two, I went to their house. So I was sitting on the sofa and I saw around and then I took the newspaper. So that girl came, Swamiji, I have seen what you have seen. So I kept quiet and her statement was, Yes, we know we have not painted our house properly. It's all dirty. You have seen that. I have seen this. I said, okay. But do you know why? I said, I don't know. And I have no interest also. Now, when we got married, we decided we will do only that when both of us agree on it. If I agree, he doesn't agree, we will not do it. 
if he agrees, I don't um, agree, then we will not do it. Because you have taken a vow. Everything will be done when both of us agree. So very good. Nice. Keep it up. But they want to tell. Now our question is what? A mantra is what? Who asked this? But we want to tell. So I have no choice. Like now you have no choice. So Swamiji, he likes a light cream color. I don't like light cream. I like light pink color. So the problem was whether to paint the house light cream or light pink. And therefore we decided no. Unless you come to a common conclusion. So can you help us? I said, yes, I can help you. But you will not argue. I don't like anybody arguing on anything. If you want to listen, listen or go wherever you want to go. Agree? Agree. Then uh, I said, why don't you paint it uh, cold, tar, dark, black? Somebody, I said, wait a minute. Don't um, do the kumbak. Wait a minute. I said, Mr. Man, do you like that black color? No, Swamiji. Inside the house, black color? Hey, I don't like it. I said, hey, wife, you tell. Do you like the black color? No, Swamiji, I don't like. Both of you agree? Lagao. <laughs> See? Where are we lost? In the small, silly things in life? <coughs> See? Because we are lost in the specificities. This color I like, that color I don't like. See? The day you give up our over obsession about the things, the net result is we migrate from the worldly objects and come back to our sense organs. See? Like food. Many years before it happened, must be 30, 40 years before, I was in Tamil Nadu. And South India means what? Idli, Vada, Dosa, Sambar. Idli, Vada, Dosa, Sambar. And every day, same place, everywhere you go, nothing else. And that Idli and the Dosa has gone so much deep in my system. Sometime I used to dream that I have taken idli as a pillow <laughs> and dosha as a covering shawl. So when I went to the north, I said, hey, give me anything, no dosha, no idli. So what was happening? I was obsessed with the specific types of foods and therefore I was becoming miserable. But what the tongue is? Taste. Not a specific taste. Sour is tasted by the same tongue. Salty is tasted by the same tongue. See? So if we are living at sense organs level, worldly objects will give up their hold on our life. How simple it is. Therefore, don't give yourself any choice. Jo hai, theek hai. You know, in uh, uh, Bhimpura, on the banks of Narmada ji, Ananda Mahimad Ashram is there. Every year we have got a retreat there. And it is a very nice traditional ashram. So, those who can sit on the floor, they sit. Or those who want a chair, they sit in the chair. All the people sit together. Food is served. And you just can't start like that. And then prayers are offered. First prayer. Uh, Shri Shri Anandabai Mataki Jai Narmadeshwar Maharaj Ki Jai Narmada Maya Ki Jai 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Jai Kara. At the end, he simply says, Aaj ka bhojan. Now all have to say loudly, Bahot achha hai, without eating. 
and he will see that everybody shouts. He said, no, you are not chanting. Again, you have to say, Aaj ka bhojan bahut achcha hai. Now that tongue with which you said, today's food is very good. You have no way to complain. Abhi to khata. It is very good. Don't give yourself choices. You will be happier than the happiest. See, friends. The moment you give choice, you become somebody. See? Now, the result of this is our mind remains uncontaminated by likes and dislikes. See? When the mind remains uncontaminated by likes and dislikes, we are at peace under every situation. Then, we learn the art of living in Karnatak. Karnatak. Natak karo. How to do the Natak? Please tell us. What are you doing now? As if listening. See? So what is the Natak? Everything is done. But nobody becomes there. Nobody is born. One person is acting as Chhatrapati Shivaji. This happened in Mumbai. That boy was very good in that particular role. But he was only Agarbatti brand. But his uh, um, dialogue, this um, delivery was very good. But how to bring Chhatrapati Shivaji, a pathetic personality. So they used to tie so many things around him. And then he will go on and all that. And then he will come and say, beautiful dialogue. When he was talking like a Chhatrapati Shivaji, that time also he knew he is not even a Pati. Forget about Chhatrapati. <laughs> Natak. Karnatak. And when we live with this understanding, nobody is born. So, we all have to do this Natak in life. So we are with our relations accordingly. Whatever position to that Natak, that's it. But don't carry that burden of Natak throughout the life. And this is what happens when we talk all the time about our past. Our Dada, our Dadi, this thing happened, that thing happened. Are Ram, 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 Ram. Or else we keep on talking about our children, our grandchildren. See, I suffer because of this the most. These mothers and uh, grandmothers, in one place I went. Swamiji, um, uh, my son, you know, he chants so nicely prayers. It does he chant. Uh, I don't know. No, no, but a chant say, you have already learned. Say, Tameva Matacha, say, say, Tameva Pitacha, say, say, Tameva Bandusha, say, say. And after that, she says, see, he chanted nicely. <laughs> now, what do you want to prove? Don't try to prove anything to anybody in life. Therefore, this Mahamantra who asked you, you know how this mantra came to me? Who asked you? This mantra was given to me in Badrinath many years before, maybe 30, 35 years before. I took darshan early morning, 4 o'clock. It was pretty cold. Not much crowd. Before Dasara, if you go to Badri Kedar, there's less crowd. So, after that Darshan was over, there is to be one old Amma, Bhagwati Ma. She is no more now. She used to be there throughout the year in that terrible cold. And she was, she used to chant every day one chapter of Bhagwat Mahapurana. She knew it by heart. And after that, we used to go to our place and have tea, speak something here and there. One day, I went with her 
and uh, she sat down and I just lied down in my head in her lap. And uh, I said, Mama, yes, I have decided no more lectures. I am not going to give any lectures hereafter. So she started laughing. I said, what is the joke? You are laughing. She said, can there be a better joke than this thing? Said, what is the joke? Who asked you? Did Narayana ask you whether you want to give lectures or not? Or he didn't ask me. Did I ask you whether you want to give lectures or not? No. Then whose question you are answering? This is the Mahamantra. Who asked you? You will stop becoming anybody. Because every speech, every talk has a reference. Without reference, you cannot talk. Without reference, there cannot be any thought. And the reference that we know is only the body, the body, the body. And then we become somebody. I was in the US, a good friend of mine. He said, Samini, you have come, but I am going to India. I said, go enjoy. But before you go back, I will be coming back from India. I said, go. Enjoy. Come back. He came back and he said, Samini, India is a lovely country. I said, very good. But one problem. What is the problem? I did not see any Indian there. I said, what do you mean? He said, I saw there Malayali, Tamilian, Bengali, Marathi. I did not see Indian anybody. See the observation. We, when we become somebody, we identify ourselves with, with something finite. And anything which is finite is bound to putrefy. Infinite never putrefies. Infinite supports all the finite. Infinite is being, finite is becoming. And we all become somebody or the other. And that somebody or the other is constantly struggling for happiness, struggling for happiness. I want happiness, I want happiness. Then for that happiness that we are wanting, seeking, then we have to become somebody. See, so we imagine if I go to Australia, leaving India, then I will be happy. Only imagination, nothing else. Then you go to Australia. And after going there, you start getting the kicks from the kangaroos. Our buffalo kicks are better than the kangaroo kicks. Then you get there isolated. Observe this. One of my good friend, he was in USA for 10 years. I said, what made you come back? His analysis was so good. He said, Swamiji, during working hours, we are in our offices. After that, then we were constantly searching for our kind. So the Telugu will go to Telugu, uh, Tana, the, um, um, the other grand brand will go to that Nata, Telangana, Marathi will go to Marathi, Malluz will go to Mallu. In this manner, we want to separate out. And again, next day we go to work. So if we are so much seeking our kind, why stay here? And then both of them decided, now we have had enough, we have enjoyed, now we must go back to our roots. See, so we become somebody and we are a misfit. If you remain what you are, it is natural. Therefore, this becoming is 
adding some kind of upadhi to ourselves. And the burden of the upadhi is the one which is creating the biggest problem for every one of us. See? About this, once we conducted a um, kind of a gimmick. One management uh, seminar I was conducting conference for three days and we told them for the your management lectures you come with a necktie. I have not understood till date what is the purpose of the necktie. You can't clean your nose it is very hard. Necktie is very hard not the nose. See, you can't wipe your face it is not enough. Then what for necktie? When you fall in a gutter you can fish out. So, necktie brand, you be here, we finish there. Evening, we will have satsang. Now, you have all come with your family. Everybody should come. So, the person who came for uh, this uh, conference, then his wife, his children, uh, in-laws, outlaws, everybody should come. Big hall like this, we used to have a lot of fun. One day, I told, today we will play some game. Management, huh? And in that game, I told, I'll call somebody and that somebody has to uh, say whatever I, have, I want them to say. Ready? Yes, ready. The one child I called, hey, you come here. He came, maybe about five, six years or so. Then I told him, I stand here, you have to speak three minutes on whatever you want to speak. Whatever you speak, anything. So he has a problem what to speak. Hmm, I have nothing to speak. No, no, speak. Say, I have to say something. We are playing a game. Hmm, I like chocolates. With great difficulty, he could say that. Then again, silence. So say something more. You are talking very nice. Hmm, there is nothing. More. No, no, please say something. I don't like taking bath in the morning. Very good. You are a good orator. Say something. No, nothing to talk. He has a problem to talk. I said, anyway, you have to not talking. Stay here for another two minutes. No, I will not say, I will have to go. I said, you cannot go. You have to stay here. He said, if you don't allow me, I will do susu here. I said, I regret. You go. He went back. Then the second experiment, I invited 82 not out. And then, uh, Babaji, you have to speak for three minutes, whatever you want to talk about. Then he started. And finally, I said, you know, three minutes are over. No, no, I have not just started. I said, no, you cannot. Three minutes are enough. Go back. No, I will not go. I will tell. We have to call police. <laughs> experiment was over. I said, now you have seen the experiment. This child has hardly any past. He has nothing to talk. Because he has not become anybody. See? And this uncle, he has no future. <laughs> what he has is only the past. So if you have peanuts in your pocket, can you distribute cashew nuts? You distribute what you have. And the past was so long. See, if there are uh, thousands and thousands of flowers, the garland will be very big. Like you see in the political meeting, they make a huge garland. And three, four people hold and one dumbo stands in between. So many flowers. Then lesser number of flowers, shorter the garland. You go to our Mumbai, they 
supply the uh, daily basis uh, flower for the god and also the mala and they supply the uh, mala garland for ganapati it has got only three flowers rest is only dhaga red lesser the number of flowers shorter the garland be attentive if there is only one flower can you make a garland so what is the art of unbecoming don't bring your past in the present there is no need to know about anybody anything there is no need to tell about us to anybody see friends and as a result what happens that because we are carrying the burden of the past then we become sentimental these days the children don't respect the elders you are elder is it a qualification what is our contribution to become old no qualification everybody becomes old and then we start be attentive then we start not only we became old but we start becoming miserable we get hurt and how do we know we are carrying the burden of the past and we have become miserable that is the reason is ours is a very strong strong personality stronger the personality stronger the ego very susceptible to any small little things and then we go into our cocoon bhagwan mujhe utha kyun nahi lete jagah nahi hai wahan no lead your life in utter present only one flower don't bring all flowers see there after the question comes how to remain without becoming anybody how to remain it is for this purpose our uh, religion our culture is very rich we are blessed with that then take up something to learn when we take up something to learn what happens the child in us is not allowed to die every one of us is a child within then who is a child a child is the one who want to learn see one of my bengal experience i really like that experience i was in calcutta and i started learning bengali taking the books and uh, learning trying to pronounce the bengali way and when i went out like a child when they learn a b c d go with the mother out mummy wait a minute i can read english b a t a see i can read english recently learned don't show same thing i thought now i have learned bengali let me read this board and the shop was a watch shop clock watches so i stood and to myself gh d ka du ka na and i patted myself wonderful well done there was a bengali behind not like this i said then like what ghodi ke do kaan ab ghadi ka dukan kahan gaya aur ghodi ke do kaan kahan se aaye when you are able to laugh smile you are nobody see 
for becoming angry we don't feel uh, shy but for smiling and laughing no how can i smile before everybody because we have become somebody relax you don't have to prove anything to anybody so when you take up this as the project of your life that we have to learn something or the other the time passes so beautifully without creating anybody see this two years of corona i was in my flat 2 by 2 2 bhk did not go out of the uh, house once even not even once so it's very easy to get bored oh kya kare hai then i took my own principle learn something then i learned how to cook very dishes i learned how to wash clothes and dry them and iron them properly then i learned the indoor gardening see like that one person was inspired so many i agree with your principle although i am old but i don't want to remain old therefore i want to learn said, very good learn i have started only learning i said very good do you know what i am learning i don't know why people want to tell me i am not interested you know learn or don't learn who cares no uh, you told therefore i started okay very good uh, i started learning sanskrit a sindhi learning a sanskrit if you kannada ga learns one can understand but a sindhi started learning sanskrit so elderly man i could not even laugh i said oh very good very good do you know why i am learning sanskrit i said i don't want to know he said no i'll tell you because they say in the heavens they talk sanskrit <laughs> it is dev bhasha so if i die and go in the heaven i should not have problem therefore i am learning sanskrit i said you are really a sindhi up to bone marrow see a sindhi is born with a calculator in the hand you know that i said that is perfectly all right but plan b suppose <laughs> suppose you go to hell then i know sindhi <laughs> don't become anybody remain what you are relax and therefore when you take up with your spare time constant learning something and for that purpose few things i will suggest you try every day you must spend some time in chanting something new not every day the same thing dharma kshetra guru kshetra nada yusa mamaka pandava kim guru dasan jay sanjay vacha dharma dharma and they keep on rocking and doing if you put chili below them chutney will be ready Please. no read every day something new first day first chapter second day second chapter third day third chapter wherein you are required to involve all the three faculties speech mind and body then slowly we become integrated and then all other things are dropped integrated personality is being this integrated personality is becoming see this is one thing second thing read the life stories of great mahatmas see this is one of the best way to learn how to unbecome 
This I learned from your children. For the first time, when I was um, launched in the market, so I was told, you have to go and talk to children. I said, okay, sir. I went there. And Bombay children. So I said, uh, come on, kids. I will now tell you the story of Dhruva. Because that was only I read, prepared the lecture. Like the MBA people prepare the, um, what do you call the PowerPoint. They have no power, only point. So <clears throat> I started. How Dhruva was great. One child. Yes. Dhruva stood on one leg, hands up. We cannot stand on two legs properly. How can we do that? We don't want that. So I can't say anything to him. I said, okay. Second child, Prahlad. When I started Prahlad's story, again, my dad is not like that, Hiranyakashyapu. My dad is so nice. Whatever I want, I get it. I don't like that Prahlad story. Oh God, know what to tell them. It was a challenge. Then I told, I said, look here, I'll tell you the story of Bhagwan Krishna. You know, when he was hardly seven, eight years of age, with his small little fingers, he lifted the Govardhan mountain. Another child. What is great about it? He is God. God can do anything. I said, yeah, you are making me final. Then other child, when we lift our finger, we go to bathroom. <laughs> I was completely dismantled. That was my first experience of satsang. Then one child told me, therefore I tell you, you are all my guru, I have learned from you. The child told, why don't you tell something what you have gone through, tell your experience. See how important it is. Now what is our experience? If God is great, it's okay. If there are Mahatmas who are descendant, who, not descendant, those who are descended, avatari purush. There are many Mahatmas. By birth they are great. Right from day one, all the various kinds of Leela start happening around them. They are taking avatar in this world for the upliftment of the humanity. We don't fall in that category. Then we have to learn that there was some Mahatma who was like us, going to school, going to college, getting failure and this thing, ran away from the hope, got nothing. And then he came across one Mahatma and then he started changing and he became such a great master. That can inspire us. There was a thief. Olden days, he has stolen something from the king's treasury and the uh, army was after him. He was running all alone and army was running behind him. He saw one kutia kind of thing and there some fire was burning, some atmas, dhuni was going on. So when he went there, he immediately put on that ash on all over him and covered himself with the gown of that Mahatma and sat there, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And those people came. Did you see anybody who has come this side? Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Has anybody come here? Om Namah Shivaya. I think this Mahatma is gone case. Anyway, they, the soldiers did Namaskar to him and went away. Then, that thief, when I am a fake Mahatma, I am safe in this world. If I can be a real Mahatma, that change his whole life. These kinds of the events and stories of the great masters, they can inspire us to lead the spiritual life. 
the and when this becomes our mainstay of life then we will cease to become husband wife mother father grandmother grandfather but then we simply play the role wherever you have to play the role after the role is over forget about them drop them then come back to your own being and what is the litmus test litmus test is you are all alone but you are not lonely loneliness is a sign of a very strong ego you must have seen some kids they keep on playing with themselves they don't need anybody they are very happy with themselves we have to learn that expose yourself to silence more and more without any support of anything or any being start with small little thing one day it will click that when we are at peace with ourselves like the space is at peace with itself all the four elements are supported by the space all the four elements keep on doing every kind of thing but the space neither rejects them nor opposes them nor gets influenced by them exactly the same way that is being discover colors and forms do not influence the vision objects do not influence the sense organs sense organs do not influence the mind mind doesn't influence the vivek discrimination discrimination doesn't influence the life life doesn't influence the chaitanya this journey is unbecoming when we drop the object we have not become possessor when we drop the sense organs we have not become enjoyer or sufferer when we drop the mind we are neither happy nor miserable when we drop the uh, mind we come to the i and when we dissolve this i in chetana in life you are neither this or that remaining as unqualified existence is the art of unbecoming we all have to this experience of yours you are aware of everything light sounds but you are not becoming seer or hearer therefore experience without the birth of experiencer is the art of unbecoming we are neither done yoga charity tapasya nothing correct the focal length that's it so in being is infinite happiness in becoming finite and miseries when this is clearly understood we will remain at peace with our ourselves then we don't require any company because we are at peace with ourselves give it a try and be happy om purnamadaha purnamidam pur
पूर्णात् पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओ